The offers were announced yesterday afternoon with five First Nations. Both the West Moberly and Saltu First Nations are partners with Natural Forces in the Sukunka and Zonabeek wind projects near Chetwind. The two projects are comprised of four wind turbines that are located east of Highway 29, 15 kilometers south of Chetwind. We're in the process of working on a small, I think it's about a 15 megawatt wind farm, and uh, it's you know, it's, a, it's an opportunity that's being provided to everybody. BC Hydro said in a statement the agreements have been made through its standing offer and micro standing offer programs. The Crown Corporation also says that it plans to negotiate power purchase agreements with three other First Nations in BC. The five projects were selected because they are part of impact benefit agreements with BC Hydro and have significant First Nations involvement. We have to apply for a power purchase agreement, I guess, or uh, stand an offer with uh, with BC Hydro, so they have to review the application and see if it's worth uh, if it's worthy or not. I guess the standing offer program gives set pricing for small clean energy projects. The micro standing offer program is for projects that involve First Nations ownership and participation. For uh, an economic opportunity, definitely, uh, we have been longtime promoters of wind and alternative energy, so, uh, you know, it just it follows suits, it's, it's going to create economic opportunity. BC Hydro says there are no plans to issue any other hydro agreements until the review is complete. Eric Tashner, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.